Hey guys, welcome to my so bliss. Today I'm super excited to be partnering up with Baby Lock Sewing Machines and bringing you another sewing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hooded towel just like this one. I even put a little patch on it, which is just a fun little touch. Um, my boys were really excited about that. So I'm going to show you how to put that hood on and make that into a hooded towel. And today I'm going to be using the Baby Luck Brilliant, this machine right here. I am obsessed with this machine. This is my go-to everyday machine. It has all the features you would need as a seamstress. And especially if you're sewing clothes, it's really great for that. Um, and I just love all of its amazing features. I'll put links down below for where you can check out that machine. And I'll also put a link down below where you can check out the video I did all about it and all about its features. So make sure you go and check both of those things out. So the supplies that you're going to need for this project, um, it's really great because really all you need is a regular sized bath towel or whatever bath towel you like, if you like the extra large or if your kids like it. And then a hand towel. And then I just put a patch on it and I used an iron for that. And then I just used all of my basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. Our first step for this project is going to be preparing the hood of the hooded towel. So here I have my hand towel. It's kind of big, but it's going to be really nice for my boys. So I want to find the wrong side and I just do that by you can either look at the seams or where the tag is. There was a tag here that I just ripped off. Once you found the wrong side, then we're going to fold it so it's right sides together in half. So then there's my tag. My right sides are on the inside. I'm just lining up this edge right here and I'm going to pin that in place. Once I have that pinned, I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine. For my sewing machine, I'm just going to be sewing right along where we pinned. I'm going to use about a half of an inch seam allowance. So just line that up there. And definitely make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end. Keep those nice and secure. And then I'll just go all the way down. And the really great thing about this project is that your seams are already finished on this edge of the towel. Isn't that awesome? So you don't have to worry about it fraying or looking bad once you wash it. It's all ready to go. Now, once you have that sewn, we're then going to open it up. And if you just pull your sides, you can see it lays right into a triangle. So I'll flip it over and show you. Here's the seam that we just sewed. And here is our hood. So it has about an inch and a half right here down at the bottom. I'm okay with that. I like how big it is. And I think my kids will really love that. So now I'm going to add in the big towel so we can put the hood onto it. So first I want to find the center. So I'm just going to fold it in half and find the center of the towel. Try to pin there so it's all ready to go. And I'll do the same thing with the hood, which you are going to really be lining up with that um, seam we created. So I can just mark it right there. And now we're going to put it right sides together. And again, just like on the other towel, here's the tag. So that's going to be my wrong side. So I want to put it right sides together. So let's flip it over. And then this we want to turn right sides out. And poke out the top of your hood and then lay it out so now we have right sides out so that way I can pin this long edge to the top of my towel and we'll just mark that center one right there okay and now I'm ready to take it over to my sewing machine with my hood pinned onto my towel, I'm just gonna sew it just like we did before at a half of an inch right along where I just pinned, making sure I backstitch at the beginning and the end. Once you've sewn the hood on, you'll see there's our seam. 
So this is the wrong side of the towel. And you'll see how it kind of starts curling right along here. You could leave it and it'll be just fine. Or I like to curl it under so that it goes right along with that seam allowance and just lays nice. And then you can just stitch right along here down the length of the towel um, and just give that a nice finish and it'll lay flat. And then you could even, with the top one, stitch it up so it's not bothering the little one or it just lays nice and looks really nice. And the same goes for the hood. You could also stitch those down. And I'm using the same color thread so it's black. So it just blends in really nicely. So I think I'm going to finish that off just so it gives it a really nice finishing touch that way. Once your towel is all finished, one thing I like to do is add a little patch. It just makes it a lot more fun for kids. And it could even like distinguish whose towel is whose. So I just got this Superman and then the, and then I got a Batman one. Um, these are from Joann's. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions that um, came with it. And first it says to put it on there and then put like a press cloth. This is just a big piece of cotton fabric. I'm going to hold it on there for about 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds, then I turn it to the wrong side and I hold it on there. So just make sure you're actually getting it on the patch. And then you just let it cool. If you need to, you can repeat one of the steps. I might do it just because these edges seem a little... These ones are fine, but down here, not so much. So I'm going to Repeat that step and then I'll be all done. Once you have put that patch on, you are all done with your hooded towel. Wasn't that so fast and so easy? I'm gonna try it on, see how it looks. Oh yeah, nice coverage. A little small for me, but you know, I like a bigger towel. There we go, you can see that on that side. <laughs> So oh, that's such a fun project. My boys are going to be so excited to have fun little towels and dress up as Superman and Batman. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Again, make sure to check out the Baby Lock Brilliant. I'll put a link down below for that and um, other videos that I have done with that machine. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.